Hey, I'm Matt from mastersketchup.com, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to insert a completely custom door or window using the Medik wall extension. So if you're not familiar with the Medik wall extension, you can check out my review video linked below, and I also have a 10% off coupon if you're interested in purchasing it. So let's go ahead and jump in. So the built-in door configurator actually has a lot of different options for you to select all sorts of different types of doors and, and configurations of different types of doors, but maybe you want to install a door that you modeled or a door that you found on the 3D warehouse. And there's actually quite a few manufacturers that include their doors on the 3D warehouse like Pella and Marvin. So you can use the actual door that you'll be installing on the project in your model. So basically the way it works is when you activate the door tool, as long as you have the advanced door options enabled and you have install door enabled, you're gonna see uh, this these options right here. So by default, it's going to have in the install mode, it's gonna have built in. As the, as the default setting. And this is what lets you use all of these different uh, configurations and types of doors to kind of parametrically build a door in the Medik wall tool. But if you switch this to library, so if you switch the install mode to library, that is going to let you choose a custom component that you can then use inside of the door tool. All right, so how do you actually save a custom door to use in the Medik wall extension? So in order to have a component appear in this drop-down menu, what you need to do is find the folder where the Medik wall extension is installed. Now on Windows, it'll typically be in this location here, App Data, Roaming, SketchUp, SketchUp 2021, SketchUp Plugins, Medik wall, EXT. In this folder, you're going to see another folder called library. And in this folder, you'll see doors, uh, garage doors, all sorts of folders where you can save um, custom components uh, to use in the extension. So in the doors folder, this is where you wanna save door components so you can use them in the door tool. All right, so let's walk through an actual example because there are a few important things that you need to know. All right, so let's find a door on the 3D Warehouse. Uh, this is the door right here, but basically I went to Window, 3D Warehouse, I just searched for Entry Door, and I grabbed this component right here. So you click Download, Yes to load it directly into the model, and we can place it anywhere in the model. So there's a little bit of a setup, but once you have a custom door configured, you can save it as a preset and it just takes, you know, a few clicks to insert the door uh, wherever you want in the model. But the, the setup does take a little bit of time. So let's go ahead and walk through exactly how to set up a custom door. Now, keep in mind when you're designing a door or choosing a custom door to use with the tool, you have the option of including custom casings for the interior or exterior, or you can just use the uh, exterior trim and interior casing uh, parametric feature that's built into Medik. So in this case, I'm gonna leave these enabled because I don't have any casings on this door. But if I did, I would just make sure to uh, switch these over to no, and then it wouldn't be creating duplicate casings or, or trim on top of um, what I have in the component here. So what we've got here is the door and the basically pre-hung on the jams, uh, and you know we have the threshold. So it's basically a pre-hung door without any casings on it. Now, if I were to save this door to the library as is, we're not really gonna get the results we expect, but this is actually what I found to be the easiest way to configure a custom door, so that's what we're gonna do. So to do that, I'm just gonna right-click the component and choose Save As, 
and then we're gonna save this to that folder that I showed you earlier. And the most important thing here is to make sure whatever name you use doesn't have any spaces or special characters. So I'll just name this wood door and click save. If you were designing a door from scratch and you had an empty model, you could just go up to file and save uh, to do it that way. But since we have a model with other things here, I just did the right click save as just to make it a little bit easier. All right, so now we can go to the door tool. We can go to uh, the, the library. So we're gonna change the install mode to library. And now we have that component in the drop down menu. So I'll select wood door, click update, and let's install this door and see what we have. So we have a few problems here. The first obvious one is the door is not oriented correctly. Now, why is that? So the door tool uses the component's axis origin to place the component within the rough opening. And in this case, if we look at the original component we used, we can see that the axis is oriented with the red going this way and green going that way. And so when it was inserted into the rough opening, that's why the door is essentially spun 90 degrees. And we actually have the option, when we go into the door tool, you have the option of choosing where the uh, insertion point is for the door. Actually, I'm gonna go into the edit mode so I can show you this specific. So right now, the default insertion point is bottom center. So we could change that to middle center or uh, top center as well. And that's gonna adjust the door height the, and position based on that origin and orientation of those axes. So we're gonna set this back to bottom center. Um, I've also noticed that this door location setting doesn't seem to work. It seems like the uh, the depth of the origin is basically aligned to the exterior face of the framing. Um, I've played around with this and it doesn't seem to actually affect anything if you update that. So um, you basically you basically have to orient the door uh, it relative to the origin being flush with the exterior face of the framing. So how do we fix this? So the simple thing to do, and this is why I like to, to do it this way, where you just insert the component first and then you adjust it uh, afterwards. So at this point, what we need to do is actually go into the component that was used here. And the best thing to do is actually to open the outliner to make sure that you're editing the correct component. So here we have door two. This is the, the group that is generated uh, by the Medic, the Medic wall tool. And what we're looking for is this right here. This is the actual component that was pulled out of the library and inserted into this rough opening. So we're going to jump into, jump into this component here and we can see, now you'll notice I have, I have view component edit hide rest of model enabled, uh, have a shortcut key which I do have a, um, a video talking about how to set up custom keyboard shortcuts and, and stuff like that. I'll link to that below if you're interested. But that just makes it a little easier to, to work on nested components. So we can see how this door is being positioned. So the red axis is going along the wall and the origin is right smack in the middle of the rough opening. So all we need to do is select this component and then reposition it to uh, where we want it relative to the rough opening. So the midpoint will move to the uh, center of the origin, and then we're gonna push back the jams along the green axis until we're aligned with the, the casing here. And so now we have the door positioned, but we need to now resave this component back to the library. And it's important to do this now because otherwise if you regenerate the wall, it's going to pull the library component back into the model again. So you're gonna lose all of this repositioning we just did. So we're gonna make sure we're selecting the correct component once again. So we'll right click and go to save as, and then we're gonna just select that component that we already have in the library and overwrite it. 
So yes, we want to replace it. And now we have the door positioned correctly. However, if you look closely here, uh, the door is actually taller than the rough opening. If I toggle um, x-ray mode, you can kind of see that the door is a little bit taller than what the rough opening is set at. So what we need to do now is go to the edit opening tool, click on this door, and we need to change the parameters of the rough opening to match the size of the door component that we are using here. So typically the way doors are measured is by the actual size of the door slab itself. And then you have a horizontal and vertical offset uh, to account for the rough opening. So that's gonna account for the thickness of the, the jams and uh, any space that you want. Let me turn off the, uh, let me turn off the trim here real quick. Okay, so we can see, you know, we have the jam thickness and then there's a space for shimming. And it looks like we have quite a bit of room there as well. So let's go ahead and jump back into the edit tool for the door. And this door is 36 inches, which is fine. Uh, but the door height is, is actually 82. So we'll go ahead and update that. And so now we have, actually it looks like I am just missing, I just had a, uh, I had the trimmer stud or jack studs turned off there. That's why it looked like it was such a big space. So that's actually pretty tight. And the reason why is because the jam is seven eighths of an inch. So we're only giving a one inch offset. So we might want to change that to 1.5. And that gives us a little bit of a little bit more room around the door frame for shimming the rough opening. And so once you've done that, go ahead and review the rest of the parameters here. And once you're happy, you can save this as a preset. So we're going to save this wood door, save preset. And now, whenever you're modeling, uh, whenever you're using the Medeek wall tools, you can just go into the the door tool and then grab your door from the preset list and you can click as, as much as you want to insert the doors. All right, so that's how you insert custom doors and windows in the Medeek wall extension. If you're interested, if you don't already have the Medeek wall extension, definitely check out my review video that kind of gives a more broader view over how the tool works and use my coupon code for 10% off. It's master SketchUp, and I'll have a link below on how to purchase that. And leave a comment below if there's anything else in the Medeek wall tool that you'd like me to cover, leave a comment below so I can uh, take a look at that. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.